Hey, good morning, happy Monday, and happy week to everybody. I am on here doing a spicy domestic discipline live. Um, so as you see, I have some, have my Halloween bucket here. And inside of here, I have some of our spanking tools that we use. And um, that'd be, you know, a spicy story time to do on a Monday, you know start the week right <laughs> okay so please go ahead and like share comment and subscribe and if you're watching this outside of the vibe hey girl hey thank you for watching stay tuned for more and stay tuned for weekly videos and i'm so happy to be on here i love all of y'all okay so first i want to um talk about a story time um a speaking story time and also um, tell y'all more about some of why we use some of these paddles. Um, so this one right here, as you can see, it's like you know, it's like um, it's like a leather, it's soft leather, and um, it feels really good. Oh hey, um, simply yes, yeah, simply Shan. She said, "Hey boo, hey girl, I see you're up early on Monday. Yes, I'm up. I've been up since six thirty. Um, and tell me how was your Halloween? Um, I dressed my daughter up like a little cat. Like I, I drew her face, little whiskers, and I did like little cat nose and stuff. Um, I'll probably try to like post some pictures like on a short so y'all can see that. <laughs> but anyway, let's go and get back to the video topic. So um, I want to do a story time. I can be a little quiet too because they're asleep still. <laughs> my husband and my daughter are asleep. Um, so. These are some of the paddles that we use. And, um, you know, we have the rules in place. So if I don't, you know, necessarily follow the rules, you know, then I get a little spanking. So I want to tell you about this story time on Monday, Monday morning. You know, I want to start Monday right. Um, and I'm up early. I feel like I'm so energetic. And I'm glad that somebody is up with me, too. So, hey, boo, hey. Yes, I'm glad that, you know, I have somebody up on here watching this. <laughs> so, um, this story time, I'm going to tell y'all, um, it happened last week. And um, he had went over to his friend's house and me not knowing where he was going because he had just walked out the house. And, no, you know, he was kind of like in a rush. I didn't realize what was going on. And so I called him and I was like, where did you go? Like, why did you just leave or whatever? I'm like, you know, he never does that. And he was like, oh, you know, uh, his best friend, Marcus, um, he has a heart problem. And um, he had, he was laying on the floor at his house and he was like, in so much severe pain. So he had to rush over there and help him. And when he got back home, he was just like, how dare you call me like that? He's like, you know, he was like, you know, like, like you know, I love you. Like, why would you think that I was, I was brought out the house and like be, you know, um, you know, like disrespectful to this marriage and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And he was just kind of like, he didn't understand why I wasn't trustworthy in him as, as my husband. And I was wrong for that because, you know, I should have just trusted that, you know, he was going somewhere important and that he just didn't walk out, you know, or walk out and go like to, you know, to the store or whatever. Like I knew he was going to come back home, but I didn't know where he was going. Most of the time he gives like a hug, he's like, hey, babe, I'm about to go somewhere, you know. Sorry about the lighting, guys. I'm trying to, <laughs> it's early in the morning, so I have like the window open over here and this light on back here. So hope you all like this lighting. And I did my makeup early this morning. But anyway, so after he got back home, you know, he grabbed one of our paddles. And he used this one. And he gave me a little spanking and some little, you know, some love taps, as Mama Rada says. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I was I was pretty I felt pretty bad because you know I was like mm, I definitely deserve that spanking because I should have just trusted my husband and I should have just you know let him you know handle what he was handling because it was it was, that was an emergency his best friend you know was on the ground and he like I said he has heart issues so this was like an important it was important why he ran out the house and instead of me realizing that I was just like first thing my mind went to is. Like, did I do something wrong? Like, I called him, you know. And so, 
you know, he used this paddle and he told me, he was like, you know, go in the room, bend over the bed. He was like, wait for me to get in there, wait about five minutes for me to get in there. And you're going to get a spanking because he was like, you know, you should know as, you know, as my husband, that he is going to be a trustworthy man and not do anything to harm us or do anything um, that would make me upset. So um, in this situation, he was also like, you know, this, this was an emergency. And you called me about all that stuff. And I didn't realize it was an emergency. But I told him to bend over the bed. And then he you know, came in there with this pad. I didn't know which one he was going to choose. Because, you know, so we have, like, different varieties in my Halloween basket. <laughs> um, I tried to, like, pull things and stuff. Um, and then he started to, you know, after I was bending over on the bed, um, stood there for about five minutes. Then he came in there and, you know, let us think of me. And I, um, afterwards, you know, he asked me, like, okay, do you know why you got a spanking? And, like, do you understand? I'm like, yes, yeah, okay. I know because I should have been trustworthy of my husband. And I, you know, called you while you were in the middle of an emergency and was being, you know, asking some questions, like, where did it go? You know, just, like, not like I trusted him. Um, so, oh, yes, thank you. Okay, I see you commented. That's a cute little vest kicker. Yes, I got this from um, Target. And I was like, yeah, it's real cute. I have, like, um, different, like, little things in here that we use. Little cups. I try to keep it, like I said, up with the theme of, like, whatever. So I'm going to change this today since now it's November. So I'm going to kind of go, like, to, like, the Thanksgiving vibes. You know what I'm saying? So I have, like, a little pumpkin. And my little setup over here as well. But I'm going to kind of throw out all the Halloween stuff after today and, like, you know, put in more of, like, Thanksgiving vibe. <laughs> but um, that spanking story time was definitely something I wanted to share with you guys because I haven't got spanked in a while, guys. I have actually been really good. I honestly have. Like, um, but, you know, sometimes I'm bad just to get a little spanking because, you know, I love the the attention he gives me whenever. You know, he gives me attention anyway, but I just I don't know. It's something about, like, whenever I'm bad and then it's like, you know, he comes to, like, correct me, put me on place, like, punish me or whatever. It's just, I love that. Um, I see somebody else is on here. So, good morning. Uh, I can't see whoever is on here. <laughs> I can see that. I see those two people. I see that. I know that Shan, Shan is in here. Simply Shan. Hey, girl. And I see somebody else came in here. Um, good morning to you. Oh, thank you. So she said, uh, I think all of it makes the marriage stronger. So I salute. Thank you, girl. Thank you so much. And I'm so happy that I have, you know, a sister on here with me because I think you're actually my first sister, my first sister subscriber. So thank you so much for subscribing. Um, and, you know, I want to reach out to my sisters because, you know, a lot of us are not submissive. A lot of us African-American women are not submissive. So I'm glad I got another sister on here that's with the submissiveness. Okay. Um, so, yes, I am posting weekly. Um, so, I'm just, okay. Okay, that's me. We're happy to hear you say that. Um, so, yes, I have been a submissive wife for now going on seven months. I started this channel seven months ago when I very first started the journey of being a submissive wife. And I wanted y'all to come on the journey with me and just grow with me. And, you know, I can share with y'all all my submissive wife stories, all my submissive wife hacks and what has made our marriage just thrive so much because we, it's like whenever you, like whenever you go into uh, a submissive wife, um, you know, as the, the dynamic, you go into a whole different relationship, a whole different marriage. So that marriage that you had or that relationship that you had previously before you became a submissive wife is completely different. It's like you become in a totally different marriage after you become a submissive wife. Because it's like before you realize all of the mistakes that you're making and why and where all of the problems were stemming from. Um, because whenever you become in this dynamic, you know, it makes you kind of stay in check. That's the thing. It keeps you in check. It makes you realize, you know, okay, you know what? 
I trust my man and I'm going to let him have his man role in the marriage as the head of the household. And I'm not going to overstep by being a, like a feminist. Cause like in 2021, we know that not in my previous video, I did a video about modern women and we know modern women normally are more feminist. And so we live in a feminist um, world. So, you know, being a submissive wife isn't so popular and, um, that's why I'm so happy that I have uh, Simply Shan on here with me because, you know, like I said, for us sisters, even as you can see on Kevin Samuels, um, you know, we are not the more submissive. You know, um, we see more other races going, uh, being more submissive and it's more normal for them to be submissive. Um, whereas in our culture, um, it's a little different. Um, you know, we don't, it's not, it's not talked or praised to be a submissive wife to your husband in the black community. Um, so that's one reason why I really reached out this channel to reach out to my sisters and get on here and like, you know, create a, um, you know, kind of like a congregation, like a, a, a community where we can talk about being a submissive wife. We can, you know, um, just, you know, be, um, you know, who we need to be for our husbands. And so, you know, moving uh, forward past that, um, I kind of want to talk about um, why we use some of these paddles and, um, you know, how they feel. So this one right here is a soft leather. And I can't see if anybody's sitting here. Uh, but I want to say uh, good morning to everybody. And, um, but this paddle right here is a soft leather. And it feels really good on, you can like kind of see, it feels really good on the skin. Uh, we got this from like a local um, sex shop um, because they have a lot of variety of different, um, you know, things you can choose from, different kind of powders you can choose from. We went up there together and we picked out some of the paddles. Um, this one right here I actually ordered from Wish. Um, so these two we got from the uh, local sex store, sex shop. And then this one we got, I ordered from Wish. And um, this one, as you can see, is totally different than these two. These two are more like, you know, the leather. And this one kind of has like, let me show you. Kind of opens up and then, so like whenever it hits, kind of like does like that. Kind of like C, you know. And this one, it feels really good. And it's like, this one is more like sexual. Um. I can't say he doesn't really use so much, but he, this one um, hurts a little bit more. <laughs> but I mean, that's the point of a spanking, right? You want it to hurt. <laughs> so, um, but they still feel pretty good, you know, but you want to get the discipline from the spanking. It's not more of like a pleasure. So spanking should not be really pleasurable. So that's why we got more of like the leather. These things kind of hit pretty, you, you can hear that, you know, hits pretty hard. You can feel this, it leaves a mark. Not a mark, but you know, kind of gets you, you know, ass a little red. <laughs> gets your ash cheeks a little red. Um, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, but this one right here um is different, but it hurts just the same. Like this one right here, like it's kind of like a almost like a whip, but it's like a more like a spanking whip. And this came like a whole set. This and this actually came together with the um, I have some more stuff in here. <laughs> um, this actually came together with these cuffs. And these are like super cute. These are um, purple, soft on the inside. I have to do my nails today, guys. So I'm talking about my nails, okay? But um, yeah, these are like very, very soft. I'm so I see you come. Yes, yeah, that is so true. Very different. Mm -hmm. That is so true. You're right. Yeah, in my community. But you know, that's why we on here. That's why I'm on here to advocate for us because um, I have seen a lot of channels where a lot of people just don't even think that black women are submissive, like straight up. I have a video on here um, where I did a reaction to where a black man on YouTube did a video saying why black men prefer white women because white women are just submissive. There's no black submissive wives. And so, yeah, I have a reaction video to that. And um, that just kind of like pushed me even more to be a submissive wife and to share my submissive wife story. Cause I'm like, I'm, hey, I'm here. 
I'm black. I'm African American. I'm a submissive wife. So we out here, you know, maybe like a little unicorn, but we out here, you know. And so, um, it's uh, and you know, even when you look it up, I'm not the only black submissive wife channel on YouTube. But I think if there's more of us on here, it'll kind of like people will start to see. Oh, okay, you know, black women aren't all so bad, you know. Oh, okay, you got to head into work. Love, but enjoy your day. Love the live video. Says, all right, girl. Well, I'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day at work. I hope you can come home pretty soon. And, you know, hope your day at work is good. All right. So I'll see you later. Um, but I'm actually about to kind of get off live too. Um, but I kind of want to stay on here a little bit more and talk just for a little bit more. And then I'm going to actually um, probably going to get up and go get breakfast this morning while they're still asleep. <laughs> They normally don't start getting up. And so I wake him up at nine for work because he has to be to work at ten in the morning. So I wake him up at nine, and um, and then normally my daughter gets up around like nine thirty, nine fifteen, and she loves to have a bowl of oatmeal in the morning and um, some cereal. Um, we actually got some new cereal t today, so I make her bowl of cereal, have her little shows on for her, and you know, get my husband a little morning head. You know what I'm saying? Got to get the morning head in the morning. <laughs> so I'll probably give him some morning head when he get up. I wake him up at nine. So you already know how I'm wake him up. <laughs> and the semester wife should wake your man up. Okay, you shouldn't wake him up by like, get up, baby. You know, you should get underneath some covers. You know, start licking. And he wakes up. He'd be like, oh, that's a good way to wake up. <laughs> that's a real good way to wake up right there. Mm -hmm. So, um, Let's see, do I have anything else in here I want to show you guys? Oh, I have, you know, I have another, um, like, it's, I have, like, this really cute glass bow box that I keep some of our other things that we use. And I didn't even think to bring that one out, but I think I may show that one in the, in the next video because I have, like, so much more stuff that we use. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, I kind of want to show you guys that. I'm also happy on my live this morning. Um... But I'm probably about to go ahead and get off here pretty soon because it's already 17 minutes and 17 seconds. I've been on here for a little while. Uh, so I think I'm going to probably let it go to about 19 minutes and then kind of, you know, end up the video. Um, but before I end up the video, um, I kind of want to do a recap for people that are coming in, but you didn't see the beginning of the live. <laughs> so, because um, I love, okay, so. This story time, this live is about story time, spanking story time, where I talked about, you know, just like our spanking stuff that we use and my cute little Halloween basket, our little stuff that we have in here, our little paddles and where's my other one and all that type of stuff. And then I also gave a story time about when I got spanked last week because I was a bad girl. I've been good, but I was a naughty girl last week. And so I had a little spanking. My husband had to spank me. But let me tell you guys, this dynamic has so much spice, so much fun into your marriage. Like I said, when you go from um, a regular marriage, a regular vanilla marriage to a domestic discipline marriage, oh my gosh, it makes all, all the difference. I recommend this for any woman, but especially my sisters, especially my black women. Yes, go ahead and be a submissive wife to your husband because that is how you keep him happy. That's how you snatch your man from the market, okay? That's how you make him want to be your husband because um, before I became a submissive, because I was a submissive girlfriend. At first, I wasn't submissive. When I became a submissive girlfriend, that's when he proposed to me, like literally like a month after I became started. I became a submissive girlfriend. That's when he proposed to me. We had already been together. Mind you, we'd already been together like seven years before he had even popped the question to me. So after I became, that just shows how much being a submissive wife would change your life. After I became a submissive wife, he proposed to me the month after. So that's why I made that video, submissive, uh, the submissive wife, um, how it changed my life. And my very first video, because he had just, we were, we were getting married the next day after that. So I recommend this lifestyle to anybody and I'm going to go ahead and close this live out because it's already gone on 20 minutes and I just wanted to get on here, you know, say good morning to everybody. Happy Monday. Happy Halloween. I know yesterday was Halloween, but happy Halloween to everybody. I hope everybody was safe. Hope everybody had fun. Um, I decorated my daughter's face. Like I um, did like little whiskers on her face, made her face like a little cat and I put like a little tail on her 
and she had like a little cat shirt on. It was super cute. Um, and yeah, we had a ball. We had a fun time yesterday. She ate so much candy. We had, we'd order pizza. We had like a little Halloween party in the house, me, her, and my husband. Um, and his mom came over, his sister came over. Um, we just had like a fun time. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and end this live out. Thank you for everybody watching. Um, and I'll be getting back on here soon. You know, I got my weekly uploads. Okay. So don't forget about, I'm going to be on here. All right. I'm going to be on here. <laughs> Trust me. Okay. I'll be thinking about y'all. I'll be having my video. Uh, you know, I'll be making my, uh, I have a list of videos that I have for everybody uh, for like, you know, the videos and all that, that I'm going to um, be posting, but go, okay. Good. Uh, I hope everybody has a great Monday. Good morning. Uh, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos. I love y'all all so much. I'm going to say kisses and um, ciao to everybody. Thank y'all so much for watching and staying tuned for this live. If you're watching after this live, hey girl, hey. I love you all the same. And please comment down below. Let me, let me know how your Halloween was whatever you just want to comment, you know, I love to interact with you guys and talk with you and, you know, all of that jazz. All right. Ciao. Bye guys. See you later. <laughs>